Hello, in this video we are gonna get started with Power Apps. First, I'm gonna give you a first introduction about what Power Apps is. Here I am in the interface of Power Apps that you can access using make.powerapps.com. There is also another way to find it that's going to offs.com and going to apps and selecting then all apps and Power Apps should be here amongst the other apps. Okay, but what is Power Apps? Power Apps is a tool from Microsoft that lets you create apps without needing to write a lot of code. It helps people to quickly create apps to solve business problems. So Power Apps is designed to help business create custom apps quickly and easily. You can build apps to improve business processes or solve specific issues, even if you're not a programmer. That's the beauty of Power Apps. It has great features such as drag and drop that you see and learn how to use it, which makes it very easy to design your own apps. It also has templates to get you started. If you want to see how to do some apps, you can look at the templates. And it works very well with Microsoft tools, such as Office 365, SharePoint, Lists, and also works with other services. There are hundreds of connectors, such as SQL Server, Google Sheets, and other third-party services that you can connect to and integrate your data. One of the biggest benefits of Power Apps is speed. You can build apps way faster and saving a lot of time when comparing to traditional development techniques and using code. You don't have to wait for the IT to create something from scratch and people who are non-developers, called citizen developers, can easily use the platform too. You can use Power Apps to build things like data entry or task management and connects your data sources like spreadsheets or databases. Let's take a look at some examples of Power Apps. Here in the home screen, we have start with a template. And then you can see some examples of Power Apps. If we scroll down, we have several templates here that we can click and click on preview app and we will see it working already without having to do anything. So I have some examples opened here to show you some examples of what's possible to do with Power Apps. Here, for example, I have a Service Desk app where I can see the tickets I opened or my colleagues opened. And I can click on the ticket, see the details, the date, the subject, description, the status, and so on. And I can also filter here in the left by the status see an overview in the top and also create new tickets. This is just an example of what you can create with Power Apps. Another example that I have here, I just opened from the sample apps, is a leave request. So you can log in as an employee or as a manager, see your leave requests and create a new one. You can select the type of leave requests, the dates, inform some details and then save it and there will be the page for the approver. So this is another example of app that can be built in Power Apps. This one is built in the mobile format and it's a help desk ticket app. So you can be an admin or again a user and create new help desk tickets. And this app could be opened directly on your mobile device, on your smartphone. So you don't need to go to a computer to do that. Once you create the plus icon, you, ha you have a form to select some information about the ticket and then create. Another example, it's a site inspection app. Here we have several inspections that were done. We could edit this and see the information, see the pictures that were taken, or we could create our own inspection clicking in the plus icon. See, again, we have a form here that creates inspections. Now I have an example that I built myself. 
It's a control of worked hours, so I can log time of tasks and I can also approve these tasks being a, a user or a prover again. So here I could, for example, see the tasks I input in the app, create new entries informing the project, the task date, the worked hours and the description. I could filter in the top and if I'm an approver, I can go back and go to the time approval and approve or reject tasks, select multiple tasks and also approve in batch. So these are all examples of apps built with Power Apps. When we talk about Power Apps, I mentioned that we have the connectors. Power Apps can connect to hundreds of different types of services. Here we have some examples, for example, SharePoint, OneDrive, Dataverse, that's the platform database, Outlook, Salesforce, SQL Server, Dropbox. There are a lot in here. I can scroll down and it's a very big list. A lot of services already allow you to connect Microsoft Forms, Dynamics, Translator. And if it doesn't exist and your service has an API, you can also build your own connector. Last thing is that when you go to make.powerapps.com and you can create a new app, if you start with a blank app, you will see three options. There are three types of apps that I can build here. And we are going to focus in the first one, that's the Canvas app. The Canvas app is this app that I just showed you several examples. That's like the pixel perfect type of app that you can drag and drop components and put them where you want and create your own interface. But there are also other two types of apps that you can build. One is called the module driven app that connects directly to the Dataverse tables. That's the database of the platform. And we also have Power Pages websites that are external facing websites. So you can create a website that users from outside your organization can access it and interact with your data. But we are going to focus on this first one for this course and we are going to learn all the basics, all the parts that compose this app, the building blocks, everything you need to know to start building your own apps. Given this introduction, let's get started.